Hello guys, we're going to do a part three of this uh, hunting in the woods. As you can see, I'm up on the upper end of the ridge here. Not on top, but I'm close. And we're going to give it a shot up here. Walking around. got a bite already. I had not never got up in these rocks. It had been too snaky looking. Two weeks ago it was 95 degrees. Now it's down close to frost. Go to another mode here. Five cents. That sounds promising. And we've got another target right there. Two targets two foot apart. Now let's see what they see what the old cheap pointers has to say. I'll just go ahead and clean this whole little area out right here. Let me switch hands on this phone. Get the tools out and get get to work. Well, I see it's working quick. We got something right there. Let's see what we got here. Man, it's rock. If rock was worth something, I wouldn't be here. Whatever it is, it can't be deep. I see it flip out right there. There's another shotgun shell. So, like I said, you kind of, kind of go through these big trees like you would hunt it at an advantage point. And that is, this thing's going to focus today. Can't read it just yet. Twelve gauge Remington Express. It could be twenty or thirty years old, maybe more, maybe less. But I think it's a sixteen gauge. Okay, we'll go to this next target right here. Evidently, he shot at a squirrel. Most likely missed and hit running. Shot it again. That's my opinion. I've been there and done that all my life. See there? See how old that one is? That one is so old that it's nothing like pull. And you'll dig some holes where they'll show there's something there, but they're so deteriorated that all you're picking up is pieces of pole and hits is lighter than the leaves, so it's hard to find. But it's more or less trash now. See if there's any more of it, the head of it. If I could find the head of it, it might be salvageable. Yeah, right there it is. My guess it's probably the same identical shell.
try and clean it up here. See, that's a different one. That's a 16 gauge. But it is a Peter's Super X. So, either he had a different shell or that was a different hunter at a different time. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like fishing. You don't know what you're going to find. But evidently, that was either hunter had different shells in his pocket or that was a different hunter at a different time. So we're going to move on to the next one. Cover these holes up.